you know you're only in the position where you're at right now because you give too many fucks. You giving too many fucks is keeping you stagnant. You care about what other people might say. You care what your mom might say. You care if you might fail. You care, you care, you care. You don't even know what's gonna happen until you do it. The only way to do it, the only way to know is if you do it. So why are you thinking about what everybody's gonna say? Why you're trying to people please? You're losing time in the progress. And the only luxury we have is time. You count in the days, you count in the weeks, you count in the years of a new life when the power of a new life lies in your hands. It lies in your mind. But you have to get past the humps and tribulations of people not supporting you, your close ones turning on you, strangers supporting you more than your friends. You have to get over these hurdles because the road to success is not an easy one. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. So stop giving a fuck. You don't know when your last day is here. We're taking time for granted. And while we're taking all this time for granted, you don't wanna wait, you don't wanna wait till shit hits the fan and you lay on that bed like, damn, I wish I'd done that. I should have done this. Where would I be right now if I started sooner? You don't wanna live your life like that. And it's such a beautiful time to be alive because we have access to information. Whether you're 15 right now, if you're 45 right now, you still have time. There's people who are in their 80s who didn't have this access to the information. And the only time, the only program they had was the things that their parents told them, the things that their teachers told them, and what their mind itself developed for them. Because our mind tend to develop our reality for us. We don't see with our eyes, we see with our mind. This is why people who get far in life, they don't really see other people's opinion as a super high standard because to get where they're at now, they didn't do it by listening to every single person. No, they had their own select group of people who could healthily criticize them to push them better. For those of you who's watching this right now, scared to start a YouTube channel, scared that you're not the best speaker. There's people out here that's worse than you with successful channels. And that's not even just for this internet world, that's in every aspect of life. For rappers, for musicians, you're probably a better guitar player than a few celebrities. You're probably a better rapper than a few celebrities. Shit, you're probably even a better actor than a few actors, but it's very rare that the best person gets the best acknowledgement or the best, you know, outcome. It's the person with the most confidence, the most persistent, the courage to actually go forth and do so. A lot of people are closet creators. They paint Mona Lisa's and Picasso type artwork, but they're scared to show it. They just paint it as a hobby and hang it on their wall. Nobody knows about them. While there's someone who's, you know, drawing stick figures, got artwork in the MoMA. Look at this in a corporate world. The smart, the people who run CEOs are typically not the smartest people. They're the people that get the product going. They sell it to the public. They have a high emotional intelligence. So it's not about being the best. It's do you have the balls to do it? Do you go? Do you have the balls to go around the world? I'm like, I don't give a fuck who likes it or not. Somebody about to like it and I love it. And just put it out anyway. Do you have the courage to do that? Or you just have enough courage to go and type some negative comments, some troll comments on the internet behind a picture of a fucking NASCAR, right? So you can't get caught up in the peanut gallery. You can't get caught up in what other people might say because that's part of the process. When you go on this path of becoming the person you want to be and chasing the life you actually want, it's inevitable that you have supporters, you have haters. And if you give a fuck, you're supporting your haters instead of supporting those that support you. There's people rooting for you 
whether you know it or not. And they're just hoping you get out of your fucking shell and live out the life you want to live because you could only lead someone so far. You can't force them to drink the water though. So if you're watching this and you feel like you're stuck, you're a prisoner of other people's opinions, get out of your mind and just do it. Like before I record these videos, I don't think about who I'm talking to. I just talk to the camera and I talk what I feel like talking about. It's my channel. When you, when you start catering for everybody, you try to become a friend to everybody. You don't really have a target audience. You put out subpar work because you're trying to please everyone. And a man who pleases everyone is an enemy to himself. You're supposed to do what you feel like doing and feel relieved after, just like after you do a good workout. Like after you do a good meal. So stop giving a fuck because you giving a fuck is holding you back. Holding you back from the life you're living. All these people with millions and billions of dollars that is not even as talented as you. They just had the discipline and people around them to push them. So you're hating on them. Nah, you got to you got to develop. You got to find your own recipe and deliver it to the world. You can't be caught up on, he's not even that good, he's overrated, but they did the work. They got there for where they're at, because I can't hate on anybody who's doing better than me, right? But it's all subjective, though. But I'm telling you here, when, the moment you stop giving a fuck, stop people pleasing, stop trying to walk tiptoe on eggshells to not hurt people's feelings, that's when life rewards you that's when you start getting your blessings answered and as we keep our blessing answers that as we as we keep getting our blessings answered that builds momentum to keep pursuing and propelling into the destination we aspire to be in if you want to be an artist start painting you want to be a musician start recording right you want to be a chef learn how to cook don't look at the competition and feel sorry for yourself. And while you see your competition as being better than you, learn how to become better. Learn how to become stronger. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. I'm not going to feed you some applesauce and the pain is going to go away. Now we have to build our shield up in order to live a grand life. We can't live a grand life doing mediocre things. And giving many fucks is mediocre. So let go of the bureaucracy and start living out your true potential. So this has been More Studios. If you enjoyed this video, like, share, comment, subscribe. And until next time, you guys be well.